Probably something good here. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Nice fish. Hey, today on Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV, we're in Delacro Island down in St. Bernard Parish, just south of New Orleans. Captain Jack Payne with us, a Sweetwater Marina, and we're gonna do a little fishing. We've got a spring day cloud cover. We've had a lot of wind, some muddy water, but we found some clean water here. So we're making a drift or two here for some speckled trout, and then we're gonna go try to catch some redfish. This is a time of year where you can really do both, catch reds and specks, and we'll show you how today on Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV. Boy, oh, coming right see at him. Golly, you see their backs coming out the water. This is one of the most incredible sights you'll ever see. These fish are coming out the water. They're right here. There's about a thousand of them. <laughs> That's the way to do it now. That's the way to do it. Oh, he's got one behind him. There he is! This is absolutely something that you see videos of and you don't believe it. But look at it. You can look at them in the waves. There's just tons of them. Oh, a shark! A shark ate him! <laughs> That's the way to do it now. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Hey, is this South Louisiana fishing or what? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a good fit. No, it's, I still have him. I thought that, yeah, good fish. I think, make, I think I lassoed him. you make the cut. Right? I don't know what he is. I think I lassoed this fish, Jack. Nothing surprises me. No, <laughs> look at the little fella. I lassoed him. One of the things that we're looking for is there's been some really dirty water around here. And this water's brackish, but this water's decent in here right now. So that's why we're fishing in this little bay. The water's decent. The deal is, this is a keeper, Jack. Yeah. But the, I think one of the big things right now is this is one of these transitional spots where you catch fish here in the late winter and, and spring. It's real close to the marina. So these fish are starting to push out of here and there's a few of them left and that's what we're trying to catch right now. But the key is the water's been really low and now we've got some clean water in here, so we're going to take advantage of the clean water and see if we can pick up a few fish. There we go. That's a nice one. So, Jack, as we're catching these fish in here, what, what is it that's holding these fish? You know, last one I caught, I was thinking, you said you caught a lot of fish like this in here this time earlier in the, in the season, but these are just the leftovers right now, or? Yeah, these are the guys that are just staging up before they move to the outside. And, uh, you know, there's still some uh, river shad back here, a few other kinds of little fish that they eat. And look, the crab, that, believe it or not, Speckle Trout eat crabs about this big. Oh, yeah. Up to about that big. And uh, they uh, got a lot of little crabs back here, so there's a lot for them to feed on. And uh, that's pretty much why. We've been catching a lot of fish back here throughout the uh, later part of the winter and early spring. but. Uh, like you were talking about earlier, they kind of in transition where they start to leave these shallower bays to go to the outside to start spawning. When we talk shallow bays, how shallow are we right now? Uh, this bay is about three foot deep. Right. So three foot deep, we're fishing. We tried, I threw a topwater earlier, had a speckle trout about this size, jumped clean over the bait and missed it. We tried some plastic, but right now we're using Captain Jack's live shrimp and they seem to be working pretty well, especially when we're not seeing a ton of bait out here. There's not a lot of tide movement, so uh, the live shrimp really helps in situations like this. And that's a good trout for this time of year on the inside. He needs to come up. Thought I had a big one. Well, keeper. Yeah, it's a keeper. A lot of fish that are about 12, 13 inches you're gonna find back here. You'd be surprised. Oh yeah, you'd be surprised because every time we come back here, you always catch a, you'll always catch a, 
a big one. Now these fish are starting to move out now in mid-April. When do they start moving in back here? Because this is real, for people with small boats and, and things like that, this is a really good place to fish because you're close to the marina. So usually what, October, November they start? They back here in October and November, pretty thick too. Okay. I mean, they all on the other side, on the Dela Cruz side, they get thick back there. Just usually about the second week of September when the white shrimp start migrating out. Trout start schooling up, coming, following up them deep channels and stuff, chasing the white shrimp. Then they all get locked in here for the winter time. But, uh, you know, he, this is a 13 inch buckle trout, great eating, fun to catch, and, uh, you know, you can have a good time not far from the marina. All right, we caught about four or five trout on this drift right here. We're going to go to the other end of this lake and make another quick drift and see if we can pick up a few and see if they're on the other end. A lot of times when you, you get in these areas like this and these little lakes, there's sometimes there's no rhyme or reason as to why they're on one end or the other. So we're going to go on the other end of the lake, see if we can make a drift over there and catch a few. If not, we're going to go after some redfish. So uh, we'll see you on the other side of the lake. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. The last couple have been nice. This one's pulling like a pretty good trout. He's pulling. I don't know if he's as good as the other ones, but he's coming in. He's not bad. Uh-uh. No siree. No siree. Nice fish. Yeah. Beautiful fish. And you know, Jack, this is, I fish all over and talk about all the, I'm always talking about how great a place is to fish. And that's why I do a fishing show called Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV, because it's just so, it's so great here. But you know, you look at Delacro and the advantages to fish in Delacro in this area, especially when you're inside, is the fact that we are inside, you can fish in rough weather, and we've still got all of this. We've still got an estuary over here right now, and that keeps these fish in here like this. And we I guess that's probably the, the biggest advantage to Delacro is that you're so close to where you can catch fish. That's right, and we, we're fortunate, like you said, about the estuary, but you know, it's unfortunate how fast it's melting away. And uh, I think, I think you know, we, like I said, we, we're so lucky to have what we have left and hopefully we got it for 10 more years or longer with these projects they want to do, but it's a great spot to yeah. fish still because you still catch plenty of fish. Plenty of fish here. There's bass fishing around here, of course, redfish as well. We haven't even got to the redfish yet. We haven't left the speckle trout, but just a great place to fish and it's really good. Like we said, this is a, this is a spot on the inside that's good for speckle trout, eight months out the year for redfish, 12 months out the year. But we're having some fun just drifting down the old bank. There's a lot of bait, Jack, it looks like, that's kind of running down the shoreline, and that's what's holding these fish, huh? Yeah, you see these white lines going down, these foam lines? Mm -hmm. That's all current lines. And a lot of times in those current lines, they'll have a lot of underwater grass, and those little minnows and stuff will be swimming in the current lines in that cover and that floating grass and stuff. So those fish swim a lot down those current lines. Whoops! He better start growing. He better start growing, Jack. You're going. Mine's coming at me, he's growing. I told you he better start growing. Look, he was coming right at <laughs> The same, remember that last one I caught? Yep. Same thing, this fish was coming right at me. He felt like he was a tiny little fish, but he was not a tiny fish. And that is an awesome speckled trout down here in Delacro. I thought they went right through that cut. Awesome, awesome fish. See if we can catch another. We may want to pull down here for a second, huh? I'm gonna go just a little bit further. Yeah, I'm kinda liking it. I can help you out with that, buddy. All right, awesome. So what do you think it, are these fish just moving? I mean, it's hard to figure out why they're on some areas of this bank and some areas they're not. Uh, you know, there might be some dips in the bottom coming up and down. Bottom could be going like that. I mean, you almost got a washout over here where I'm sure some current yeah. comes through here. But um, you never know. I we'll mean, figure it out. We try. We yeah. all figure out some. We catching some fish. Yep. A good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one, man. That's a good one, Jack. You caught him in a little bit of a different spot, didn't you? Nice fish. Ooh, yeah. That's what we're talking about, huh? That's what I've been trying to catch on my topwater bait. Here we 
we go. That's a good trout. This is where we caught a few good ones right here. So we may stick us back down here for a minute. Look at this. This is a good one. Woo, yes sir. Come on, baby. That's what we're after right here. Pretty, pretty trout. And that's the method to our madness. We're just going up and down this little area right here. But that's a pretty trout. Thank you, Captain Jack, for getting me on that fish. Beautiful. Oh, it's a red. Yep, that's a trout. Is it? I think, it, no, it's a red. Redfish. Well, one thing that we haven't done today, which is kind of surprising, is caught a bunch of redfish fishing these areas like this, but there's a bunch of them here, and there's an undersized one right there spitting up my shrimp. And this fish is golden, so he's been in the marsh for a while. Gosh, and I wish he wouldn't have taken this thing like this. I gotta get it out of his mouth, but nice little redfish, and we hope to find a few bigger than this as the day goes on. I got something, but I don't know what it is. Hold on. You got it? Oh, that's trout. a nice one. Big speckle trout. Big trout? Nice speckle trout. Hell. Nice, buddy. You, yes. A redfish and a trout. And this is where we started this morning when I caught those fish on top water right here. So we decided to come back and make a drift. All this bait's getting pushed in here. Got a couple of nice current lines, Jack. So may set up for us here. If we can get out a little bit and kind of get on them. I think we're gonna do fine right here. Then we'll catch three or four nice ones. Yep. Right through this pocket again. I think that's what we're gonna do too. It's good to have a good captain that knows what he's doing and has a plan of action. I don't know. Oh, here you. I got something. Yeah, that's a red. Or a trout. I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, I got it. We moved to the other side of where we were fishing a minute ago, and I made one cast and immediately hooked up with a little red. We saw a couple of them on this bank, and we're going to throw in this bank and see if we can catch us some keeper sized redfish. They need to be 16 inches a piece. That one's about 15. Let's see if we can do something. But that was like one cast and it was instant. Yeah, but I ain't, I don't know what I got. It ain't much. What is that? Speckle trout. Speckle. Drum. It's a mad drum. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty drum. All right, you get back here and you catch redfish, which is what we're trying to do. You're also gonna catch some black drum, which are the cousin to the redfish. So let's get up here and get our black drum. And get him, ah, come on, come on, come on. And that's a pretty drum. Perfect size to have for supper. If you're gonna eat a drum, that's about an 18 inch drum. And you want them to be, they need to be 16 inches or better. But wherever you're gonna find the redfish, you're gonna try, you're gonna find some of these drum too. Good eating. Yes, they are. Meat so white and flaky. Awesome fish. There you go. Not a big one, huh? Maybe. Captain Jack's got one. A bass. You got a bass? Mm -hmm. We'll take a bass. Yep. Well, that's one thing that makes this place so healthy, isn't it, Jack? Everything. The fact that we can go out and catch a speckled trout, a redfish, and a bass, <laughs> all in the same spots. And Easily can kill. We call it a sheephead, too, a drum. Yeah. All we need is a flounder now, we'll be right where we need a bay. Huh? Grand slam. But those are good eating. Those little marsh bass are outstanding. They're fun to catch, and they're plentiful, especially if you try to go after them out here. And, and sometimes you can catch a ton of those things, especially if you target them. That's a pretty little fish. Good eater.
Just minutes from the Crescent City, St. Bernard is New Orleans' most historic neighbor. Savor our southern flair for cooking, from the freshest catch of the day to Louisiana's spicy Creole favorites. Experience our abundant fishing with some of the nation's most generous catch limits. In St. Bernard, you can stroll the fields of the Battle of New Orleans and relive the historic conflict. And there's always a party where festivals celebrate our unique spirit and culture. Discover St. Bernard and let history be your guide. Now one of the things that we do when we're catching the redfish, and I'm going to show you my line in a minute, is we shorten up our leaders. So we're fishing with a jig head, but the leader is short to about 12 inches or so. So when you're catching the speckled trout, you're about that deep, and you're fishing with a kale hook or a treble hook. When you're fishing for these redfish like this, basically I just use my, my plastic line with a death grip jig head and I make it about 12 inches or so because normally we're fishing in some water that's really kind of shallow so I'll reel in and I'll show you kind of basically what we're doing it's pretty simple with a redfish you don't have to be too complicated with your system as to how you're fishing it but basically there you go four horseman cork 20 pound fluorocarbon leader there's my it's a 16 ounce jig head with a live shrimp underneath it and that's all we're doing for this uh, pretty easy Got you a good one, Jack? Maybe. I got me a good grass. Some grass? Yeah, I got me some grass. Well, that's what these fish are hanging out in. What you got, more fish or you got more grass? What you got there? I haven't seen him yet. That's a, I, I'd say that's a nice one. He'll make the cut. Yep. Hey, it's nice to come out here and be able to catch speckled trout and then double back into the inside and catch some nice redfish and that's exactly what we've done here today and had fun Ooh, look at that fish and there's nothing more fun than bringing them big reds in man fighting those suckers like that bringing them in the boat to heck with the net nice fish buddy and that right there is 12 months out the year down here in Delacro you can catch those 12 months anywhere within sight of the marina almost. And that's what makes St. Bernard Parish so good. You know, the, the parish is close to New Orleans. People can go party. There's a lot of things to do down in the parish, but then the fishing is close to the marina. Right. So it's the best of both worlds. Yeah, you're talking like 24 miles from the French Quarter to the marina. Yeah, I mean, really close. And we're not very far from the marina right now. In fact, some of the places they've been catching fish have been within sight of the marina. So um, come down here and get you some. That's a nice red. I need to catch one. I'm already on that. This is a mule. Uh -oh. mule. You can't believe there's one mule? Is he getting bigger? No, he's big. Maybe the big one's laying on this side of the boat. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice fish there, buddy. So why'd you have me casting on the other side of the boat? I wanted to look good on the shell. I mean, I see that now. <laughs> I mean, I see that man's telling me to cast on the other side of the boat. Look what's on this side of the boat. Now that's a pretty red. A good host would get the net for you. There is that net. Oh, you do need the net, don't you? Oh, gosh! Saving the best for last. Yeah. Well, mine's not as big as yours, but Where well, is he the hit net? it. But hey, that's a good reason why I can't get the net for you. I don't even see the net. Yeah, I don't think you have a net. Look, you want to compare right. fish? Look at this. What's wrong with this picture, man? I got mine in pretty easy. That could hurt if you do it wrong, but you got it right. All right, comparison of two fish. What do you think, Jack? You think yours is a little, I think you might, yours may be just a tad, yeah. Well, yours is a little bit bigger, just a little <laughs> bit. You got a little cutie pie. Yeah, yours is a little bit bigger. Not much, but a little bit. All right. All right, we made it back to Sweetwater Marina here in Delacro, and we picked up somebody, Captain Jack. Who we got with us now? There's a little Gracie, Gracie Payne right here. Gracie Payne, the next great fisherman out of Delacro. And what a great trip we had today here with Captain Jack Payne out of Sweetwater Marina. And Gracie's ready to get on TV and talk, or maybe she's ready for us just to be quiet so she can go get to play with Daddy. But hey, we had a great day today 
catching speckled trout. We caught some redfish as well. Captain Jack, as always, we appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. Come down here to Delacro, Sweetwater Marina, overnight accommodations, live shrimp, everything else, and I can bring out the best in not only fish, but children as well. I mean, I make them cry. I mean, it's, it's crazy. But great trip down here. Come to St. Bernard Parish, super place to fish, just minutes from New Orleans, and we hope you enjoyed the show. And we hope you join us again next week for another edition of Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV.